On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, we will take you on an afternoon duck hunt along the Petey River in North Carolina. Plus, we'll have another great recipe on this week's Sportsman's Table. All this and a whole lot more on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. I see you, Bob. Ooh. Beautiful shot. Boy, don't lose that one. I, I ain't bet gonna lose it. That's the oh. big. That's the big one of the day. Oh my goodness. Our Chevy destination this week takes us to Buchanan Shoals, located near Wadesboro, North Carolina. Buchanan Shoals is a 5,300-acre sportsman's paradise, offering hunting for the southeast major species. From white-tailed deer, turkey, duck, to some of the best quail hunting found anywhere in the country. Located along the Petey River, Buchanan Shoals also offers fishing opportunities as well. Other outdoor activities include skeet shooting, hiking, camping, and ATV riding. If you would like more information on Buchanan Shoals and all they have to offer, visit them online at BuchananShoals.com. And for your next outdoor adventure, be sure you're getting there in a new Chevy Silverado. Visit Chevy.com for more information. Folks, welcome to the show this week. We are duck hunting, as you can see, and I've got some great distinguished guests with me this week, and i tell you what, one of which, it's been years, lifelong friends here is Brother Ed Bailey right here, nonetheless, the Southeastern Marketing Manager for Chevrolet. He's back up from Atlanta. We haven't been together since, gosh, how long has it been, man? It's been a couple of years. Oh, I'll tell you what, okay. Listen, we got him out here in riding style in a new Chev Chevrolet Silverado, and with us also in the duck blind is Doug McElveen. He is a South Carolina resident. He is a Chevrolet dealer down in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. He's going to be on the calls today. You know, we, we've got all kinds of musicians in here. Huh? Oh, I'm telling you. Don't put me up to that. Yeah, man. But listen, and, and our host here at Buchan uh, Buchanan Shoals, this beautiful place up on the PD River, is, is Jason Kiker. Jason, I'll tell you what, man. It's as beautiful as ever. I tell you, I just can't thank you for having us down here. So we really awesome. appreciate it, man. And with that, mallards are flying, teal. We got all kinds of things going on this week. So, hey, guys, we got to get to it, man. Huh? Let's get on it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, boom. One for the goose. Woo. Take a minute. Woo. <laughs> you did good, man. Woo. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you what, Sweet. Now, with Doug on the call, Jason on my right, <laughs> and Doug on your left. Bro, it don't get no better than that, huh? Look at this. Oh, I'm telling you, that? Woo. You're back, bro. Oh, You're I'm back. back. <laughs> yeah. Woo-hoo. Come on. Here. 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 Take them. Nicely done, boys. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, Doug. That's nice what, shooting. That's what I'm talking about. Nice huh? shooting. Listen, you just ain't lost a touch, bro. <laughs> huh? You hey. know, folks, the last time I had this this guy on <laughs> film, we were doing huh, the Georgia night the coon Georgia hunt. Georgia night coon hunt. You That's were exactly a, what you I were was. a raccoon hunting coon fool. Hunting fool. Oh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> And you know, I got to tell this funny story just real quick. We pulled up in the middle of the night and surrounded, getting ready to get the coon dogs out of the truck. And all the, you know, and listen, I didn't stage this. All the vehicles, every vehicle that pulled up out there, what kind was it? It's a Chevrolet, but were you even surprised? No, I know, I tell you, man. And he goes, How? You pulled off miraculous things. And Ed goes, How did you pull that one off? Huh? Let me oh. tell you something. Hey! Now that's it. That's it, bro. All right, they got to be more. Here it comes. Let's go. 
Yeah, yeah I got it. Left. All right. There he goes. Hey, get it. Take him. He's down. Woo! Mm. All right, Daisy. This one's ours. Ed Duck, it's got your name on it. Ooh. And off into the sun she goes. Really? You know, you know that one's almost an embarrassing shot, boys. I got to tell you, huh? we didn't even do that one justice. Ah, okay. That's all right. See, if you got them all, what fun would it be, huh? I'm telling you. Like I said, only need six shells. Well, listen, I, you know, I, I will, is it coming back? Yeah. Guys, I, I will tell you, this is beautiful habitat out here. No, a little high. This is some beautiful habitat here up at Buchanan Shoals. I mean, it, it's been a while since you've been back, though. Oh. Hey, and we're, we're glad to have you back. I know Jason to be and the back. guys are. But, you know, a, a, as a as a member up here, of course, this duck hunting um, comes with it, Ed. And, and, you know, this is just awesome up here. I mean, the quail hunting, the deer hunting, the duck hunting, uh, everything. Turkey hunting. Now, that's the next thing i got to get you up here to do is do <laughs> some turkeys, huh? They get dug now, up Jason's here. Jason's done a great job yeah, with the property. I mean, he really has. Well, I mean, any outdoorsman. Uh, this is just a paradise for that. Right here along the PD River in North Carolina. Who'd have thunk it? Huh? All right. And folks, we'll get Jason to tell you a little bit more about the Cannon Shoals and all this great stuff here a little bit later in the show. Stay tuned. When we come back, more duck hunting from Buchanan Shoals. Folks, joining me now is Jason Kiker. He's the president here at Buchanan Shoals up in Wadesboro, North Carolina. And I tell you what, duck hunting, membership, turkey hunting, you name it, this guy's got it all up here. It is a paradise for a sportsman. It absolutely is a playground. And Jason, I tell you what, you always, you and all the folks and all the staff up here really know how to do the outdoorsman some justice here. But you know, uh, our show today is really to talk about more about the membership here. You know, we've come up here, we've shown folks about the, the, the quail hunting that's open to the public, of course, the hog hunting that's open to the public, catfishing here on the PD River. But really, the membership services. Tell everybody out there, if they want to become a member here at Buchanan Shoals, just what that all encompasses. Well, basically, our, pri our membership is primarily what we do. We're primarily a private club, uh, open for the, uh, for the duck hunting, quail hunting, turkey hunting, deer hunting, trophy whitetail deer, uh, and also our dove hunting. It's become, uh, become very popular with everybody. So our, our season kicks off for all our members about Labor Day weekend with a good dove hunt and then uh, trickles on from through deer season, duck season, and turkey season after that. Well, you know, one of the great aspects here is, of course, you've got this beautiful lodge. You've got a full-service kitchen here. Folks can come up. They can stay all night. They can bring their guests. I mean, if, if you're a corporation and you want to buy a membership here to, to entertain folks, I mean, whether it, it's hunting or whatever else, you, you guys can make that happen. That's exactly right. Whether it's an individual who just wants a place for he himself to hunt or whether it's a a company, uh, if they want some place to entertain their clients, uh, that's what we're here for. That's what we're set up. Um, you have the guys down, like I say, stay at the lodge, serve them some meals, let them stay the night, and take off the next morning or afternoon to do whatever type of hunting they want. Uh, that's what we're here for. Well, Jason, listen, we are very, very pleasurable that, to have the opportunity to make sure that, that we have a place to go and enjoy and, and entertain our clients because I tell you what, this is a very special place. And again, thank you so much yes, for, for having us here and, and being on the show today. And folks, if you want more information about Buchanan Shoals, you can log on to bobredford.com. Go to our top 16, you're gonna find Jason and all the folks there, or you can log on to their website at buchanan-shoals.com and get all the information about this wonderful place here just outside of Waysboro, North Carolina. No? Can you Can't see get him? him. Uh, that almost looked like a black duck. But it was a little smaller. Huh. Hard to tell. And it wasn't a woody. No. I, I just couldn't, I didn't see the, the flash on his wings. He went right into the sun for me. Dang, I am. Guy. Holy that. moly! That was unbelievable. That landed on my head. All of a sudden, 
You cut him in half. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> oh, man. Daisy, they made that one oh, easy. Oh, my goodness. Woo, he fell down when we got the birds. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Look at it, right there. We didn't even have to go retrieve him. <laughs> I wish more of them would come in. Man. I, was ready to say, open the I thought he was going to come through the door. Uh, yeah, I thought he was coming right in our back pocket. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's <laughs> awesome right there now. Mm. As the sun sets on Buchanan Shore, huh? <laughs> and Daisy is bringing in the bird. All right, man. <laughs> come on in here, Daisy. Two up high. Two up high. Oh. Oh, they're still over there. Take them, boys. Take them. Nice shot. Woo! That was a long one right there now. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, I think uh, somebody a long time ago coined the phrase, it takes a village, it takes about three shotguns to break this thing down. <laughs> They're absolutely moving at Mach 10. Uh-oh, two out front to the right. Get reloaded. Get reloaded. Get reloaded. Get Listen, for all you duck hunters out there, I've got the best stuff that you need to have. The best there is in the field, Dirty Bird. And with me now is Rafe Nelson from Browning. He's the guy that developed this stuff. Rafe, sir, this is some great duck hunting apparel right here. Well, we appreciate it. We had a lot of fun developing it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we've got everything from uh, base layer pieces to mid layer pieces, and then the high end uh, waterproof, breathable, insulated goods as well. Well, you know, when you're in the field, again, even though you're duck hunting, you're in the mar, the muck, the water, it's cold, this stuff protects you. Absolutely. And how good is it? It's actually the best there is in the industry. It's easy to say that, but it really is. We've used all the high quality materials, high quality fabrics, high quality laminates, and high quality insulation throughout everything we've done. Okay, patterns. That is a very, very good looking pattern here. Okay? Yes. That is special. You've got it at advantage, right? Yes, it's, we, we offer it both in the Realtree Max 4 pattern and new for 2013 will be the Mossy Oak Shadowgrass Blades this year. Great. I'm telling you, it is awesome. Dirty bird, man. For all you duckers out there, if you're not a dirty bird like me, you're just not. Stay tuned. We head to the sportsman's table for another recipe. The sportsman's table brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. Joining me from the Culinary Institute of Charleston is Chef Mark Collins from circa 1886 at the Wentworth Mansion in downtown Charleston with a special recipe for all you oyster lovers. Mark, I tell you what, oyster shooters, Carolina style, this is going to be awesome. This I can't is fun. wait. It's a lot of fun. It's something you can do, you know, we got Carolina Cup oysters. It's super simple. Very yeah. little cooking involved, which is always fun, right? You know, all the guys, they want to go oh, there out you hunt. Go. They yeah, there fish you go. and yeah. I mean, uh, cook. So anyways. <laughs> So basically, we take some beautiful Carolina Cup oysters and we've uh, we popped them open. This real succulent this time of year. Oh yeah. And uh, lots of nice juice in there. We're gonna take some celery and uh, some cilantro. Okay. Put that in our a trusty juicer. So if you have it at home, that's great. If you don't, throw it all in a blender and strain it. You get oh, there the same you go. about okay. thing. Okay, that's good. When you get done, you get this real nice light colored uh, green liquid. Yeah. And we just basically gonna pour that into our little cups here. Uh, those are the Carolina shooter glasses. That's right. Wow. Sh shot glasses there. That's awesome. A little fancy. They got a stem on them, but yeah. anyone will do. And we just put about that much in there. We've seasoned it with a little bit of salt, too. Okay. And uh, we're going to add to that our oysters. So we've popped oh. those out. Wow, that's awesome. And we're awesome. just going to slide them in. You do that like a professional. Well, I'm trying. You know. Oh, I'm telling you. 
They're good and slimy. Oh, good, they are. Fresh. They are, they are. Yeah, there's nothing like fresh oysters. Mm. No, no, not at all. You know, and this will be a first. I don't, I don't believe I've been ever shooting oysters. I've eaten with saltine <laughs> crackers and, and hot sauce, but this is a first. Well, you don't need a permit to shoot these oysters. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so we have a, in our, our pot here, we put a little half and half and some, uh, some horseradish. Okay. And the idea here is we're going to just kind of heat this up and, and bring these two flavors together here. And uh, once they've come together, we're gonna we're gonna buzz them with our little trolling motor. Ah, there you go. Yeah, folks, look at that. Huh? Trolling motor for the bathtub right there. Woohoo! Yeah, man. And while that's heating up, we've got some beautiful tomatoes here on the vine. We're gonna we drop those into boiling water, put a little X on the bottom so we can peel them. Okay. And then uh, they're they're pretty much ready to go. We got a little uh, component here. So if you think about all the flavors coming together here, we've got. The celery, we have uh, the horseradish and tomatoes. So that's kind of like your cocktail sauce. Oh, that's awesome. And folks, I might add, log on to bobredfern.com and go to the sportsman's table and you can reach out and grab Mark's Carolina Oyster Shooter's recipe. Wow. You know, it's, oh, it's great having you. Well, thanks. I always, I, I love tell you being what, on the show. I love you guys coming down and cooking for us. Mm. So we got those tomatoes, they're all cut up. We're just going to take again some of those and put a couple in there. Yeah. Add some great color. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. And this will be like, like I said, our cocktail sauce component there. Okay, gotcha. We have our uh, sauce over here warming up. And mm -hmm. once it gets nice and hot, then we'll be ready to buzz and add a little bit of foam on top. And that's it, we're done. We just add a little bit of olive oil in there for a uh, little bit of body and flavor on I the got you. top there. Makes it look real pretty that's too. That's awesome. Okay. Mm. Just trying to get that hot now. Yeah, it's doing its thing. It All is, right. it is. Mm. That is awesome. Okay. All right. Once that's hot, we just put this in a nice large container. Mm. And then it's time to, time to use our, our motor. There you go. All right. Look at that. Just trying to build up a bunch of bubbles so we don't stick the motor in all the way. Now, is this remote control trolling motor? Oh, no, no, I'm no. Just kidding. But it is all electric. <laughs> So we got this beautiful foam. We can just put a little bit on top of each one. Wow, awesome. Mm. All those are done. That is awesome. Give it a try. All right, I'll do it. Woo. Mm. What do you think? That is good. Good mm. stuff. Man, that orchard great. is right. That is great. Thank you so no much problem. for being our guest. And just a little gift from our friends at Olinda Olive Oil Thanks. to take back in your kitchen. Thank you so much. And folks, the next time you're in Charleston, stop by circa 1886. Dine in with Mark and all the gang over there at the Wentworth Mansion. Or check them out online at circa1886.com. And remember, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer when it's certified South Carolina. Log on, certifiedstgrown.com, and see for yourself. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com. Carolina, Buchanan Shoals, Ed Bailey, Doug McElveen. <laughs> I'll tell you, these guys are some awesome duck gut blind partners, huh? And our host, Jason Kiker, right here, Buchanan Shoals. Owner, president, chief duck caller, dog operator. Hey, you do it all, Bo. You just like you just like Paul, huh? You do it all. You know, as the sun sets, I mean guys, listen, as the sun sets, it just doesn't get really any prettier than this in the setting, I'm telling you, you know? From that perspective, it just, it's awesome. It is absolutely awesome.
Well, folks, we've had a great duck hunt here at Buchanan Shoals just outside of Wadesboro, North Carolina. Again, I'd like to thank Jason and all the folks up here at Buchanan Shoals that's made our visit so pleasurable. And I'd like to thank my guests today, Ed Bailey and Doug McElveen, two of my great wingmen on the duck hunting show. I tell you what, it is awesome to have great guys. The fellowship involved in duck hunting, it's wonderful. If you haven't had a chance to experience it, or if you'd like to come on up and become a member at Buchanan Shoals, Go to Bob's Top 16 on our website at bobredford.com or log on to theirs at BuchananShoals.com. And as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you next time.